Now with Odell constantly trending and becoming the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL, it's only right he's cashed on more stupidly expensive items than you can count. Now recently this summer, Odell bought the most expensive pair of Chuck Taylors ever and didn't even flinch when he heard they cost five digits. How does it feel to have a pair of $20,000 Chuck Taylors? You can go anywhere online and find a pair of these shoes for $85, but the world-renowned street artist who customized the shoes valued them at $20,000. And as weird as it sounds, the shoes consist of a normal pair of Chuck Taylors, 24 karat gold lace tips, and concrete. After being presented with the shoes, Odell actually spoke about this and said, One day, I'll have my own signature shoe. I'm gonna steal that on my Nike shoes. I'm gonna tell them to put concrete on my shoes. I don't think I've ever seen concrete on a shoe unless it was a construction boot. I couldn't imagine how you did that. Of course, with shoes so expensive, the question is always, are you going to wear those? Which OBJ replied and said, Put them on, put them right back. Odell even talked about his sneaker obsession as a kid, saying, I've been a sneakerhead since I was little. I remember my daddy, like, that would be about the only thing that I'd be waiting on. I'm like, man, I know he's going to give me a new pair of J's, and he was to give me a new pair of J's, and my mom would do the same. It's all I'd ever asked for is shoes. When I got a little older, and the PlayStation or something came out, I just wanted to play games, I wanted to be outside, and I just wanted shoes. That's it. Now, Kay, the designer who put together this masterpiece from an original everyday pair of shoes, even said that the customs are the most expensive chucks in the entire world. Now, obviously, spending $20,000 on just one pair of shoes could seem ridiculous, so it's only right that Odell returned the favor of doing something similar for others. Shortly after being traded this summer, Odell decided to help a high school team nearby that was coming back into existence for the first time since 2010. The official Browns Twitter even tweeted about this, saying, After their football program was dissolved in 2010, Cheney High School is officially back for the 2019 season. And to help celebrate their return, OBJ surprised the whole team after practice with over 100 pairs of the Nike Air Max 720s for their high school football team. And it cost them nearly $20,000 once again. Now back in August of 2018, Odell wasn't happy with just wristwatches and diamond chains, so he decided to take a trip to the dentist to see if he could get diamonds surgically put into his own teeth. After taking a trip to Odell's jeweler to get specific diamond crosses he wanted, he then headed to the dentist where the dentist said, I got my ceramist to make a porcelain veneer that looked just like his tooth. And then on that porcelain veneer, I got a diamond cross made from Odell's jeweler that he actually made on a 3D rendering that I printed and sent to his shop. Although the two pieces only costed OBJ a little over $5,000, he physically can't remove the diamond cross from his teeth even if he ever decided to. But moving on to this season, during the heavily anticipated debut of Odell on the Browns, OBJ shocked the world when he came into the stadium wearing a $350,000 Richard Milley watch. Now Odell wasn't walking around flaunting it off or anything, but many people definitely started to quickly recognize it, based off the fact that not only was Odell wearing a watch during a professional football game, but also because of the watch's worth, which was over a quarter million dollars. Headlines instantly started going crazy with many fans and even NFL insiders commenting on the watch. Is Watchgate a big deal? Uh, probably gonna get fined by the NFL. And how wearing that is not only against league policy, but also risky considering the price. Nobody's really sure why Odell wore the watch, but he's been in certain controversy like this before with flashy jewelry, and that's exactly why Odell spoke publicly after the game talking about this, where he said, if anybody else would've worn the watch, if it was just a $20 watch, it wouldn't have been a problem. That's just my life. If it ain't this, it's something else. If it wasn't the watch, it would've been the way I tie my shoes. The watch is plastic, but people have knee braces that are hard and made out of metal, and you don't see them taping it up, no jewelry on, so I'm good. Now, the NFL itself prohibits the use of wearing hard objects, but doesn't prohibit wearing jewelry, and his watch fell into the hard objects category, which many argued could result in him receiving a fine. But throughout that game, Odell ended up only catching seven passes for 71 yards without a touchdown in their loss to the Titans, which many called a disappointing start to a promising Browns team. And Hall of Fame defensive tackle Warren Sapp even commented on the watch situation, saying, you can't wear a $350,000 watch and play like a $2 bill. Now moving on to the very next game during week two against the Jets was a different story. OBJ was returning to MetLife Stadium for the first time since being traded, and he made his homecoming one to remember. After taking all the heat for wearing that watch during week one, Odell came out during warmups wearing none other than a brand new Richard Milley that many professionals on the internet actually claimed was a one of 10 ever made. And this one actually cost Odell around 2.2 million for the piece. Thankfully, OBJ put it somewhere safe after Monday night warmups and didn't wear it on the field. But what he did was put on a show in his first game back in New York making yet another impressive one-handed catch on the side sidelines, as well as an 89-yard touchdown catch in the second half, which capped off six receptions for 161 yards. Now moving on to Odell's multi-million dollar living situations, when he was still part of the Giants and lived right outside of New York City, he bought a stunning Hudson County home that boasted around 3,500 square feet across three levels. This home included large private terraces and a special man cave that Odell made with a famous comfy couch that Odell said is undefeated in its powers to make you fall asleep. His mom actually talked about the home saying, it's really, really comfortable the way he decorated it. On the top level of this massive home, Odell has a full floor master suite with an oversized walk-in steam shower that he says he can't ever give up. But the shower and the master bedroom, I just, I can't give up. His mom even said, The kitchen is beautiful, it has everything in it. 
It's where people meet, it's where conversations are built. There's not a lot of traffic that doesn't stop at the kitchen. Now, most recently after news broke during the summer that Odell would be traded to Cleveland, many people, including Odell himself, wondered not only what's next, but also where would he buy his next pad. Ohio native LeBron James couldn't hold in his excitement on Instagram after hearing the trade news. And he posted a picture of Odell in his new uniform with the caption, oh my, it just got real. Among the 10,000 comments within hours on LeBron's picture, the one most notable is from Odell himself saying, let me hold the crib down, referring to LeBron's one-of-a-kind mansion in Ohio. Now with Odell becoming legendary already, it's only right that his car collection quickly began matching his status. DreamWorks Motorsports, which happens to be OBJ's go-to when it comes to car shopping and customization, decided to revamp his Rolls Royce Wraith and surprise him with it outside of MetLife Stadium when he still played for the Giants. The Wraith was all white and had rose gold accents including the rims, trim, the logos, and even the door handles. A bottom of the line Wraith goes for right above $300,000, and with the paint and customization on this, it's safe to say that the car ran Odell well over that. But right before Odell was traded to the Browns, he decided to team up with DreamWorks Motorsports yet again to get them to build and customize a Mercedes-Benz CLG AMG for himself. All while customized a brand new Ford F-250 to match his Benz that he planned on gifting his dad for his birthday. DreamWorks produced both the truck and the car, and both in complete matte black finishes with chrome red details everywhere. The brand new Mercedes CLGs run right under $100,000 as well as $35,000 for the truck. But this wasn't the first time that OBJ gifted a whip to someone close to him. Now back in August of last year, also right before Odell was traded, he decided to once again call his guys from DreamWorks to get them to customize a brand new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited for his sister. For his 16th birthday, which they actually painted all black, and even added a huge lift kit to. Before delivering it to New Orleans where his sister lives, Dreamwork said in total they also added off-road tires, a custom interior with special logos in the headrests, an extremely dark tint to wrap up the birthday gift, and of course, she loved it. Now, right before Super Bowl 53, Odell decided to surprise the women that he actually credits all of his success to with a brand new ride. Odell had it delivered to the stadium as a surprise, which oddly enough is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But Odell actually bought his mom a Mercedes-Benz G550. The video that the NFL posted was of the initial reaction that his mom had when she saw the bow wrap G-Class. And her and Odell hugged after she screamed out of joy when she seen her brand new Benz. But most recently, after being traded to Cleveland during the offseason, OBJ decided this was actually the right step in his career and celebrated by purchasing a car like never seen before. And this happened to be a custom Cleveland Browns themed Rolls Royce for $500,000. Odell teamed up with DreamWorks Motorsports yet again to create this custom dream car. Then instead of the original logo on the hood, actually has a replica of himself making the legendary one-handed catch that he's famously known for on the hood. OBJ actually posted a video on Instagram of it raising from the hood and said, Picture me on the front of the roof like this. Appreciate you family, DreamWorks Motorsports. Custom painted black rims and orange wrap around the car, blacked out tinted windows, and of course a ridiculous sound system, with Odell revealing this car on social media it quickly went viral with people like Quavo, 50 Cent. Lil Yachty, Kevin Durant, and even Kyle Kuzma quickly taking notice of this masterpiece. Now subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the NFL 100%.